Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Yuri B Sports, and I am none other than your host, JB. And I wanted to showcase a few things for you, uh, gentlemen, today. Um, first of all, uh, they just updated the March Madness Legacy uh, game for the PS3 and the PC. And I am talking pretty low, so if I'm talking too low, let me know in the, in the comment section. But it's very early in the morning here, so I didn't want to be yelling and screaming across the house while everybody's asleep. But this is March Madness Legacy version 6, and these are some of the changes that they made in the new update. So, first of all, they did some complete global changes here. And one of the things that they did, they updated the rosters for all the teams. They updated the coaches for all the teams, including their likenesses and their names. They updated the team stats to the 22-23 in-game preview screen. Because remember, this game was made in 2009. So, a lot of the 2009-2010 stats were still in the game. So, they had to redo the, all the stats to make it to more current to actually go along with the roster. Also, all the conferences have been realigned, pure uh, alignment, uh, current alignment. They updated the top 25 preseason APL poll as well. So, that's been altered to the updated stats of 2024. And also, they have a brand new CBS scoreboard and a very new CBS font. And they also, all the jerseys in the game have been upscaled to 4K, so they look clear, which I'll show you the gameplay of that in a few minutes. They updated all the courts, these are all the conferences for the AAC. As you can see, they updated the courts for all these teams specifically. I'm not going to go down every single last one of them. Uh, in the Big 12, they, they not only did the courts, but they also did the home away jerseys, the alternate jerseys, and sometimes the jersey previews that wasn't showing up before, they do show up now. And here you can see they have Baylor, Oklahoma State, BYU. Um, TCU, Cincinnati, everybody's been updated in the big, I think it's supposed to be the Big 12. Um, they have Nebraska, o Ohio State, Penn State, and, um, oh, go, 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 there. not the Big 12, the Big 1G, I guess is what they call it now. Um, I'm, <laughs> Big 12 is in Baylor, I'm sorry. I'm so lost right now. Um, so basically they have Rutgers, Wisconsin, Conference USA, they have Jacksonville State, New Mexico State, they only did their courts uh, in the SEC. Uh, they have Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Kentucky, they did a bunch of jerseys and courts as well on here. And they also have these other updates where they have the Texas State away jerseys fixed, Utah uh, Valley uh, away jersey fixed, NKU alternate jerseys. Um, and they also have new courts for Stony Brook, Army, uh, Loyola, Chicago, and UWGB. A lot of bugs that have also been fixed. As you can see here, and also uh, Robert Morris and Texas State rosters were not updated because they freeze the roster team when database edits. Okay, so we know Texas State is not a good team to play with. Um, GW uses Utah Jersey previews. Their jerseys are not glitched though. So basically they use the different previews, but they actually have a the jerseys in the game correctly. So these are some of the flaws that are in the game. And I'll leave a link to the description below as well as the link to the actual mod and to the Discord for you. But for now, let's go into some gameplay. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. I wanted to do a little gameplay of TCU and Baylor since this is a rival game and I know they updated the, the actual arena and the court and also the players and, and the likenesses and things like that so I know for 100% fact these teams are done. I also uh, included the new Horn Frogs jerseys as well so you do see TCU's uh, jerseys in this video and I also did the alternate jerseys for both teams. But so far, I mean, even the, the stat things are actually pretty cool. They updated. They did increase and change the front uh, for CBS, which is actually pretty cool. You can even see the CBS Sports logo in the very top right corner. And they have a brand new scoreboard. It looks fantastic, by the way. Which is the actual 2024 scoreboard. It actually is out now. So, great job on the mod guys for that, to be able to put that on an actual console. Now, be in mind, this is running on an actual PS3, so this is not running on a PC. So, if you guys who are wondering, uh, is this on PC? No, it's not. This is a PlayStation 3 copy of the game for running the mod. And it looks great. Baylor's uh, court looks amazing. Um, the player models look good. The, they even took that, that weird uh, grainy look out of it. So that's not there either. So you can actually see the clarity of the court is so much clearer than normal. And I'm gonna go down here. Let me see. I bust another. Oop! He almost threw up his head. I keep getting that alley open the passing screen. Oh, he's wide open. 
Um, we. Oh, buckets. Um, but he. Um, I like the game itself. It, it actually plays different. So I don't know what these guys did to this mod, but even the gameplay is a lot smoother. You can feel it in the actual control. It's really hard to explain. But if you're playing it, you can feel it in the controls how much nicer the game is. Uh, he ain't gonna hit that. So. So far, uh, I keep getting the icon passing thing mixed up with the um, the alley oop button. Bust it! Oh my goodness! Like I said, Coach Drew, they're in the zone, run zone motion. I even see the 1845 symbol in the middle of the court. But anyway, I can play this all day long. But I just wanted to make it very short just to show you the CBS scoreboard and stuff like that, and the jerseys, which looks fantastic. You can see TCU's jerseys and everything like that. But Hit the like button for me and leave me a comment below. And like I said, all the links will be in the in the description. And also, again, smash the like button. And that's all I got for you. <laughs> Bye.